If you've tried to generate AI images for free, you know most tools give you low quality results or cover your images with watermarks. After testing dozens of tools that claim to be free, I found a few that actually work without charging you a single dollar. The best part is that these tools can create images you'd actually want to use in your projects and not just mess around with. I'm gonna walk you through the best free AI image generators available right now, starting with tools that have generous free plans and moving to completely free options. Some of these tools most people don't even know exist and a few don't even require you to sign up. By the way, if you want to follow along with any of these tools, I'll leave links in the description below so you can test them yourself. Let's start with ChatGPT, which has made image generation available to all users, including free accounts. First, head to ChatGPT and log into your account. You can just type something like create or generate, then add your image description. Or if you prefer, click the little attachment icon and hit create image to make sure ChatGPT actually uses the image generator. For free users, you get five image generations per day. That's actually pretty generous compared to most tools. Let me show you what it can do. I'll type create a futuristic city at sunset with flying cars and neon lights. The generation takes about two to three minutes on the free plan, which is slower than paid plans, but still reasonable. And here's what we get. The quality is actually pretty good. The text is surprisingly accurate, which is something most AI image generators struggle with. One thing I've noticed is that ChatGPT gives you way more consistent results when you're specific about the style you want. So instead of just saying something basic like create a car, try adding details. For example, make it photorealistic or in the style of a movie poster. The more context you give, the closer it'll get to what you actually have in mind. Another standout feature is character consistency. If I make an image of a person and then want to change something about it, ChatGPT can maintain the same character while adding changes. Let me test this with the detective example. First, I'll create a simple portrait, a detective in a dark coat standing in the rain. Now I can modify this same character by saying keep everything the same, but just add a scarf. ChatGPT keeps the same face, body, and overall look exactly the same. It just adds the new accessories on top. This is incredibly useful if you want to create consistent characters for projects like comics, movies, or even social media management. Another feature that ChatGPT offers is that every time it creates an image for you, you can click on it and a new text box will pop up. Here you can type what you want to add, remove, or replace from your original image. Like I mentioned, the main limitation is the daily cap of five images. Once you hit it, you'll see a message saying you've reached your limit and need to wait until the next day. The next tool I want to talk about is Leonardo AI. It gives you around 150 tokens a day on the free plan. Each image generation typically costs around 5 to 10 tokens depending on the settings you choose. When you sign up, you'll land on the home page. Click image right here to access the main generation interface. To generate an image, enter your text prompt at the top and hit generate. You can see your token count right here, so you'll always know how many generations you have left. Before generating, you can adjust the image dimensions using their preset templates. You can also choose how many images to generate at once, though I'd suggest keeping it at around 4 images. Leonardo also comes with a bunch of preset styles you can choose from. You can select them on the left panel where it has presets like cinematic, creative, dynamic, or vibrant. Each preset is suited for different styles, so you don't need to write complex prompts to get good results. Let me test a cinematic preset with a lone samurai standing on a mountain peak at dawn. The results have that movie-like quality with dramatic lighting and effects. Now I'll switch to the vibrant preset with the same prompt, and you can see how different the style becomes while keeping the same basic scene. One powerful feature in Leonardo is the style reference option. It allows you to upload an image whose lighting, color palette, and atmosphere you want to apply to a new generation. Instead of recreating the same photo, it transfers the visual mood of your chosen reference onto your new scene. For this test, I'll upload a moody, rain-soaked city street as my style reference and use the prompt a detective in a dark trench coat walking under streetlights in a rainy alley, holding an umbrella, cinematic composition, high detail, reflective puddles, slight fog in the air. The AI keeps the same noir lighting and reflections from the reference while creating an entirely new cinematic image. The free plan gives you access to most features, but some advanced options like photoreal mode and private generations require a paid subscription. There's also a community aspect where you can browse other users' creations and see the exact prompts they used, which is great for learning. Now let's check out Perchance AI, which is totally free and doesn't even need a sign up. That's actually pretty rare. The interface is super simple. It's basically just a text box where you type your prompt and hit generate. It looks basic, but the results are actually really good for something that's completely free. What makes Perchance stand out is that it's built by the community. People create and share their own custom generators, so you can find tools made for specific styles and ideas. For example, you can search for generators like Fantasy Character Creator. Each one's built to work best for that specific type of image. And since these are made by other users, they usually give you really good results for very specific themes or styles. Let me test a few different prompts to show the range. A cozy cabin in the woods during autumn 
a futuristic robot in a laboratory. The main issue is that the tool uses browser local storage for chat history. The only downside is that it saves your chat history locally in your browser. So if your cookies get cleared or expire, you'll lose your past prompts. Now the next tool is one you've probably already heard of. Nano Banana is Google's newest image generation model that you can access for free. In this video, we will use it through Google Studio. The interface is simple, just a text box where you type your prompt and hit generate. Let me start with a simple text to image generation to show you the baseline quality. I'll prompt a vintage black motorcycle parked in front of a neon lit diner at night. The results are clean and detailed with good lighting and realistic textures. Now here's where Nano Banana really stands out compared to other tools. Instead of generating a completely new image, I can edit this exact same motorcycle image. I'll click on the edit button and prompt make the motorcycle red instead of black. The AI keeps everything else the same, but now the motorcycle is bright red. Then I can edit it again and prompt add flames painted on the side of the motorcycle. Again, it's the exact same image, but now with flame decals added to the red bike. You can use this editing feature to change things like the lighting, the text on your images, the colors, or even the actual setting of your original image. Instead of just text to image, you can also upload your own photos. Let me demonstrate by uploading a photo of myself and prompting turn me into a Lego minifigure while keeping my facial features recognizable. The results are incredible. This Lego figure looks like it could be an official product while also feeling exactly like me. The last feature I want to show you is how Nano Banana can blend two completely different images together. I'll upload the same picture of me and also this image of a red cap. Then I'll prompt put the red cap on me. The AI puts the cap on me perfectly, making it look like I'm actually wearing it in the original photo. With this, you can take any piece of clothing you find online and see how it looks on you without actually buying it. Free AI image tools have improved quite a bit. The best tool depends on what you need, whether that's quick image creation, different art styles, easy editing, fun experimenting, or complete freedom. So now you know the best free AI image generators that actually give you realistic, high quality results without requiring you to pay hundreds of dollars. Each tool has its strengths, and with these options, you can create professional quality images regardless of your budget. Now, all of these tools are completely free, but let's be real, they're not the absolute best quality you can get. If you want to see what's truly possible when you remove the limits, check out my next video where I break down the premium image generators that are on a whole different level. These are the ones that professionals use to create the most realistic high-end results money can buy. And I'll show you exactly which ones are worth paying for. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.